What is going on, everyone? Sick from Breaking the Clutch. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And the Arbiter and Rome DLC have dropped officially. And make sure you guys go pick that up as quickly as you possibly can. Get that download going so you can play. It's like a 10 gigabyte update. So make sure you get that out of the way immediately and right away for you guys. We've got an Enforcer and Suicide Grunt Rush. And I'm going to go ahead and try to break that down to the best of my ability right here. First thing we're going to go is Extractor. Upgrade that Extractor as soon as you possibly can. Purchase a Grunt and then make a Harvester in that second spot. We should have about three spots left over from that. Making sure that we're all keeping tally here. And spread your units across the map. Pick up as many supplies. Pick up as many resources as you possibly can. And also you're going to want to pick up some Power Nodes as quickly as you possibly can. Always, um, always important to take over map control in the earliest part of the game and ensure your economy because the early economy obviously wins games so with the next two spots on our base we're going to go ahead and put two more harvesters on there and it should leave one spot left over and that's going to be for the raid camp now once your base is assembled and as soon as you have the money you can go ahead and pick up too many bases it doesn't matter where you pick them up on the map you can i'll let that i'll let you guys decide where it is uh, best to strategically put your bases because obviously it just depends game to game sometimes you have more map control and you can push the enemy side and get a sneaky play in and sometimes you're getting pushed back so far that you need to just put them on your base or maybe you're a conservative player whatever the case is so purchase too many bases put them wherever you feel best first one you're going to put a harvester and the second one you're going to put a raid camp make sure that once you get that raid camp open up on your main base or once that raid camp becomes available on your main base purchase 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 enforcers Purchase as many enforcers as you possibly can. And that second uh, raid camp purchase suicide grunts, keep them rotating. And pretty much the split is going to be about 33, 33, 33. And the last 33% of your unit uh, population is going to be those grunts off of your main base. That's to fill up as many uh, spots as we can. Because if you just do a suicide grunt to an elite enforcer on, with this build, you're going to have a lot of extra supplies. And we don't want that. We want to make sure that it is being utilized to the best of its ability. And obviously with uh with with normal grunts i'm sorry uh, you will be able to just produce them very quickly cost 100 no power so any extra money you have purchase them out of any of the mini bases or the main base and your unit composition should be about 10 10 10 by about the four four minute and 30 second mark obviously this is a very early build you can improve upon it i'm sure very quickly by the end of tonight this strategy will have already been uh, been improved upon. But I want to get this out to you guys as quickly as we can and make sure that you guys have a little bit of a, a starting ground with, with some of your strategies when using the Arbiter. Also, want to point out that the Arbiter is, or this strategy using the Arbiter is going to be one that counters infantry, an infantry rush. Notice that when you play against, uh, against UNSC, you're going to be playing against people who use infantry. Pretty much that's how it's been, at least since season three. And I mean, predominantly the entire this entire game's lifespan, we have seen nothing but infantry out of the UNSC side, aside from the Jackrabbit phase. But I don't think things are really going to change here, especially when we consider Spartan Jerome's abilities, who I think is going to be a very viable leader. Uh, if you go up against a Spartan Jerome, I I, ha I have a hunch that you're going to play against someone who's going to mass infantry just based on his. Um, his morale boost and stuff like that. So his leader points are going to attribute best to infantry at the moment. So again, this strategy is going to help you stop that early play. I don't think it's going to be able to put. I don't think you'll be able to push up to a main base and win this. Uh, win with this strategy. But you, what you will be able to do, and what I hope you'll be able to do, is control the map. You're going to be able to run up with your elite enforcers, hit the Y button. Their special ability is going to be stasis. It's going to freeze those units. You're going to pick up Teleport with your first leader ability with the Arbiter, and then you're going to teleport your Suicide Grunts in from a nice safe distance away into the hectic chaos that is Stasis and in that, in that army fight. You'll be able to wipe out their entire army. I've got a couple examples for you guys um, in just a second, but uh, some again, I don't think this is going to win you the game. I think this is going to put you in a very good position to win, though, and it's going to set your, your opponent behind. You'll be able to pick up as many power nodes as you possibly can. And who knows, maybe with a little bit of tweaking in this strategy, you'll be able to easily take over games and win games. So again, just based on my early presumptions with this strategy, I don't think it's winnable, uh, directly winnable, but maybe it is if you just make some slight adjustments. So take whatever I'm saying with a grain of salt and adjust it how you guys see fit. Not everything that we say is, is uh, I guess, canon, so to speak. Just it, it's not, it doesn't work that way. We're throwing out a bunch of strategies for you guys, and we hope that some of them work. 
That way we can just all improve our gameplay together. And right there you see Suicide Grunts just come in after that stasis and absolutely annihilate Spartan Jerome's army. And again, that's going to be it's going to be a really good play because now I'm. Uh, and by the way, thank you, Gabe, for helping me produce this video. He's on the other side of this. So, um, and when you're playing against a good player, you're gonna they're gonna pop up some turrets once they see things go bad. So again, that's why I'm not thinking that this strategy is gonna be um, one where you can just push up to the main base and win. Perhaps if you catch someone off guard and they don't have turrets on their main base, then you possibly can. But again, it just varies. Uh, depending case by case and again there it is another example of how they can just wipe out all the units those were all of Gabe's units both times right there and you'll be able to take over the entire map with that um, with this strategy you'll be able to take over power nodes you'll have map control so again I advise you guys to check this strategy out give it a look and we hope that you guys can uh, can improve upon it and if you do or if you have a different strategy leave that down below in the comments and we will be uploading so many videos this week um, pr probably twice a day at this rate so later tonight be ready patch notes are going to drop i'm going to be all over that uh, make sure you guys check out the channel a little bit later tonight for another video and other than that guys thank you so much have a fantastic day and good luck with your rb and spartan jerome strategies